Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. I thought today we would do something bright and cheerful. I am using the Around the Bend uh, stamp set, but I'm just using this one long stamp here. And I'm using the greeting from Good Feelings, the Sending Sunshine and Good Feelings Your Way. So um, I thought I would demonstrate the Stamparatus on this one. Stamparatus is an amazing tool for getting consistent, even um, images. So I've already stamped the swirls in Melon Mambo and I'm just finishing up with the Mango Melody. So um, with the Stamparatus, it's always good to have either a stamp set or an ink pad underneath the um, acetate piece so that it doesn't, otherwise it angles down and sometimes it can be hard to wiggle up. And to use it, I've already stamped this one here. So I'm just gonna lift this up, pull it out of its anchors there and put it down. And I'll just ink this up again a little bit and then just place it down. Give it a little push. You don't have to push really hard. If you push really hard, you run the risk of getting um, just the shadow lines from the end of the, uh, or the edges of the stamp. This one didn't stamp very darkly. The nice thing about Stamparatus is if you need the image darker, you just re-ink it and stamp again. I've got one more swirl to do here. I'm just going to lift this up, move it up another one, give it a good ink up here, and stamp it down. And there we go. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to take this piece out I'm wondering, I don't think I can actually fit another little piece of the yellow, at the, the mango melody at the top. Um, so we are just going to have a little bit of a gap there. Um, but it's not a terrible thing. So I am just going to put this off to the side uh, for now because we are finished with it. So I'll just pull this back into frame. So I used the Melon Mambo and the Sending Sunshine stamp. Um, to stamp the middle piece and I'm using the um, oh why can't I think of the deckled rectangle dies to cut the greeting out and to cut out the mat um, so I'm just going to pop this onto the cutting plates I'm going to see if I can do them both at the same time I don't think I can no I can't so anyway, as usual, we put any straight edge in at an angle so that it doesn't force the roller inside. It's just easier on the roller. Let's grab a couple of sticky notes for this one because I don't want it to shift. So I'm going to just sandwich that up and run it through the machine. And then we'll take the Mango Melody mat and run it through as well. And then we can add some of the adhesive back milky dots. I do like the milky dots. So just peel that off. We've got that. If you were to put it down on the card front like that, it's okay. I think it's better with the mat underneath. But as always, it's when you're making, if you're using these videos as inspiration, it's your card. It's your colors. You could do this in any color you want. And wouldn't this be fabulous for a kid's birthday party? Super, super quick and easy to do. Like that, but you can make it any way you like. You can add a third mat to it if you like. There are just all kinds of options. So let's get that out of the way. And from here, it's just mounting everything up. I'm just gonna going to flat mount the greeting onto the mat sure we're kind of aligned there and then I'm going to take my card base and I'm going to adhere the stamping that I just did and you can see I made a mistake I pushed too hard and got the line so as I always say paper has two sides and I often use them both so there we go we're just going to pop that down like that and then I dimensionalize this piece you can put ribbon around it you can uh whatever you like it's just it's your card it's your 
your thoughts. I'm sure sometimes when you're watching the videos, you think, oh, I would have done that. Perfect. If the video inspires you, uh, that's fantastic. Quite often I see a picture and I go, oh, I really like that. And then by the time I've got it finished, the card looks nothing like the picture that I saw. Um, but uh, it was my jumping off point, my inspiration. So I am happy for you to create your own way. So we've got the milky dots. This one's being a bit of a pain. There we go. Just picking them up. And you can use whichever tool you have available. I go back and forth between my take your pick tool and my twe 